How much do you know about lithium iron phosphate batteries also known as LFP batteries? Let's kick things off by diving into the world of LFP batteries. At their core, these batteries are a type of rechargeable battery that primarily uses lithium iron phosphate as a cathode. This may sound like a mouthful, but stick with me, it's going to get exciting. Now you may be wondering, why are these batteries important, especially in the context of electric vehicles or EVs? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Firstly, LFP batteries boast an impressive safety profile. They are less prone to overheating and are remarkably stable, even under challenging conditions. This means they are less likely to catch fire or explode, which, let's be honest, are pretty significant advantages. Secondly, when it comes to durability, LFP batteries are the marathon runners of the battery world. They can last for a considerable number of charge cycles without significant capacity loss. This translates into a longer lifespan for your EV's battery pack, which is a huge win, considering that replacing a battery pack can be quite a costly affair. Lastly, and perhaps most enticingly, LFP batteries are cost-effective. They are typically cheaper than their nickel-cobalt counterparts, and they don't require nickel or cobalt, two materials known for their price volatility. This makes LFP batteries a more stable and affordable choice for both manufacturers and consumers. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There's a trade-off, as there often is in life. LFP batteries have a lower energy density compared to nickel-cobalt batteries. This means they can store less energy for the same volume, which could potentially result in EVs with a shorter driving range. However, advancements in technology, such as the cell-to-pack architecture, are helping to narrow this gap, bringing LFP batteries closer to their nickel-cobalt counterparts in terms of performance. With these benefits, it's no surprise that the EV industry is buzzing with the potential of LFP batteries. Now, let's dive into some exciting recent developments in the field of LFP batteries. One of the most intriguing advancements comes from the collaboration between BMW 9, Our Next Energy, and Mitra Chem. Together, they've been testing an LFP prototype battery, proving to be a game changer in the electric vehicle industry. This battery, known as the Ares 2 battery pack, is making waves due to its impressive features. What's so special about the Ares 2, you ask? Well, its energy density is within 6% of the leading nickel-manganese-cobalt batteries. This is quite a feat, considering LFP batteries are typically known for lower energy densities. But here's the cherry on top. The Ares 2 comes at 25% lower cost and doesn't require nickel or cobalt, two elements frequently criticized for their environmental and humanitarian concerns. The Ares 2 also introduces a unique cell-to-pack architecture. This design allows for more cells to be installed, increasing the fill ratio of active cell material to over 70%. This not only optimizes space but also boosts the overall efficiency of the battery. But the innovation doesn't stop there. Our next energy has also demonstrated the ability to extend the range of a Tesla Model S to over 750 miles. This remarkable milestone was achieved using a combination of LFP and a node-free manganese cells. These advancements are not just theoretical, they're on the brink of commercial production. One's first factory is currently under construction in Michigan and is expected to start churning out these advanced batteries by the end of 2023. Clearly, these developments are pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible with LFP batteries. So what does the future hold for LFP batteries and EVs? As we gaze into the horizon, we see some big players making significant strides in LFP development. Mitra Chem, in partnership with General Motors, is one such innovator. They're delving deep into the world of next-generation LFP chemistries. One of their most promising projects? The development of lithium manganese iron phosphate or LMFP for short. This new battery chemistry is expected to deliver better performance, enhanced durability and a more affordable price tag. And how are they achieving this? With the help of machine learning systems that sift through potential solutions to find the most promising ones. Of course, it's not just about the chemistry. It's also about the commitment of automakers to adopt and adapt to these new technologies. Ford, for instance, has already pledged to incorporate LFP cells in some of its vehicles. General Motors, not to be left behind, plans to introduce iron-based cells in its EVs within the next few years. But what does this mean for you and me? Well, it suggests that iron-based batteries, including LFP and its derivatives, are set to become a common option for North American automakers by the end of the decade. 
This shift in the industry could lead to safer, more durable, and more cost-effective EVs on our roads. Plus, with no nickel or cobalt required, these batteries could also reduce the environmental impact of EV production. But let's not forget about another key player in this arena, our next energy, or one. They're currently constructing their first factory in Michigan, expected to start production by the end of 2023. With their innovative Ares 2 battery pack, they're showing us a glimpse of what's possible with LFP technology. The pack boasts an energy density within 6% of leading nickel manganese cobalt batteries at a quarter lower cost. So as we cruise into the future, we can expect to see a lot more EVs powered by iron-based batteries. Whether it's your next family car or the latest high-performance model, the chances are it will be running on some form of LFP battery. As you can see, the future of EVs is looking more and more ironclad. Ford is not just watching the LFP revolution from the sidelines. Quite the contrary, Ford is making significant strides towards embracing this promising and game-changing technology. The automotive giant is investing a whopping $3.5 billion to construct a dedicated battery plant in Michigan, a move that signals not only its commitment to electric vehicles, but also its belief in the potential of lithium iron phosphate, or LFP batteries. This new facility, a subsidiary of Ford, is set to employ around 2,500 people and is due to start production in 2026. Interestingly, Ford is not going it alone in this venture. The company is leveraging the knowledge and services of the Chinese company KTL, a clear indication of the global collaboration that is driving the evolution of electric vehicle technology. But what does this mean for Ford's vehicles? Well, it's all about enhancing performance and driving experience. The LFP batteries that the Michigan plant will produce are expected to charge faster and last longer than the current batteries used in Ford's electric vehicles. This means less time at the charging station and more time on the open road for drivers. And Ford is not stopping there. The company plans to offer these batteries in the base model versions of the Mustang Mach-E SUV and the F-150 Lightning electric pickup. These are two of Ford's most popular models, and the inclusion of LFP batteries is set to make them even more appealing to consumers seeking a blend of performance, sustainability, and durability. Ford's investment in LFP batteries is a strong statement of the direction in which the wind is blowing. Indeed, as we move further into the era of electric vehicles, it's clear that LFP batteries are set to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of mobility, and Ford is positioning itself at the forefront of this exciting evolution. Let's recap the key points we've covered today. Lithium iron phosphate batteries, or LFP batteries, are gaining traction in the electric vehicle, or EV market due to their safety, durability, and cost effectiveness. They may not have the same energy density as their nickel-cobalt counterparts, but companies like Our Next Energy or One are pushing the boundaries of what LFP batteries can do. One's Ares 2 battery pack, for instance, is within 6% of the energy density of leading nickel-manganese-cobalt batteries, and it achieves this with a 25% lower cost and no need for nickel or cobalt. This battery uses a cell to pack architecture, which allows more cells to be installed, increasing the fill ratio of active cell material to over 70%. One's innovative approach has even demonstrated the potential to extend the range of a Tesla Model S to over 750 miles. The future of LFP batteries and EVs looks promising, with companies like Mitra Chem and automakers like General Motors and Ford investing in their development. Mitra Chem, in partnership with GM, is using machine learning systems to identify promising solutions for next-generation LFP chemistries, including lithium manganese iron phosphate, or LMFP. The goal is to produce higher performance cells with better durability at a lower cost. Ford, on the other hand, has committed to using LFP cells in some of its vehicles and is investing a whopping $3.5 billion to build a battery plant in Michigan. This plant will produce LFP batteries that charge faster and last longer than current batteries used in Ford EVs, and it's set to open for production in 2026. The future of EVs is exciting, and lithium iron phosphate batteries are set to play a pivotal role in it. Stay tuned for more updates on this electrifying journey.